Where did Canada come from? That's where I was cloned at. <laughs> Story for another day. This guy right here is well known for his tracks, Death to SoundCloud, Papa, and most recently his Blind for Love 2 EP. And we'll be releasing his highly anticipated mixtape, Attack of the Clones, this summer. Everybody make some noise for Kid Boo! <laughs> What's happening? She my Kid Boo in the building. Um, Boo, I'm confused. Uh, everywhere I looked, you from somewhere else. <laughs> I saw <laughs> something that said you was from Canada. I saw something that said you was from South Florida. And I heard you was born in Jersey. Where are you from? I was born in Jersey. Okay. And raised in South Florida. There it is. Where did Canada come from? That's where I was cloned at. <laughs> Story for another day. Let's talk about the cloning. Oh, you want to? I mean... It's not every day somebody says, yo, I'm a clone. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, I got Attack of the Clones coming on the way, so keep everybody entertained with that topic. So what, what does it mean? How does it feel? You know, you, you have this huge buzz on SoundCloud, and that's kind of the way, you know, back in the day, you had, it was a whole different way to get noticed and a way to get, get signed and things of that nature, but you created this whole lane for yourself and this whole buzz on SoundCloud. Why is it so important for artists to, you know, be out be out there doing their social media, be out there getting their music out. Very important. Um, life or death matters, if you put it that way, as far as how it comes crucial to the brand that you're selling. When you said old school to now internet, uh, two words, uh, Gorilla Spider. I, back in the day, I, Gorilla Spider, by the way, I'll, I'll get into it. Um, <laughs> gorilla Marketing is the format that he was talking about for the younger ones that are here that don't understand what he means by that which is um, just every form of bombarding the streets with your brand, whether it's on walls, where you're bombing it, tagging it, putting posters up, word of mouth, clubs, DJ, all this stuff, right? Uh, on the internet, on the web, uh, which is why I say Gorilla Spider, mm -hmm. is the same tactic that I use just formulated for internet okay. only. So it's the, same, it's the same thing. I'm still using Gorilla Marketing. I'm still using the old school tactics. I'm just using the tools that are currently now available up to date, which is the social media. Uh, originality is, is a thing that sometimes exists and sometimes does not exist in this uh, hip-hop world. Uh, you, you by, all, by all standards, sir, are quite original. Uh, wh why is originality uh, important for the future of hip-hop? As far as an importance, I mean, it's very important for one to be true to their self. And with that, I feel like you will have your own unique style and formation. I feel like there's no such thing as a wrong style. Um, and another another thing too, like if you can reference food, right? That for your fried chicken, it's one dish, it's mass, that's a style. Then you got waffles, a whole entirely different dish for another time of day. But you put both of them together, now they're an all time of day sort of dish. It's a new thing. I feel like with people's styles, don't be discouraged to show what influences you or um, to give credit to where it's due. If something influences you, then it does. It's a part of what you are. It's a part of your journey and something you took in to create the lovely dish that you're going to whip up for people to hear. Thanks. Uh, last question. Uh, what is the hardest lesson you've had to learn as, as an artist on the way up? Do not set expectations for yourself in a time base. Like in a timely manner, don't think, oh, in six months I have to be here. In a year I have to be here. Or by the time I'm a certain age, I have to be here. Now, um, if you do that, you'll set yourself up for discouragement and also depression. Because uh, when that time does pass and you don't, you know, reach those goals, they're not accomplished, you start to think maybe, am, am I doing the right thing? And you start questioning yourself. And when you do that, you're not being true to the originality that we originally spoke of. You start to drift off. And that's why I feel like a lot of artists that potentially were on the rising end up quote, the quote unquote falling off term that gets thrown around a lot. If you don't set any time standard and just work and stay focused, what you truly are trying to do will manifest, guaranteed. You know, like old biblical days, they speak about things taking hundreds of years, maybe 40 years before they reach somewhere. Right. People try to set like a year or two to get their goals <laughs> done. I'm not saying set 40 or a year, just don't set any time. Just focus on what it is, enjoy the journey. That's what's up, Kid Bo, tell him, yeah, yeah.